Thanks for being here. I am Steve Duval from Thor Motor Coach inside the Aria 3901. I love this floor plan. I know we're not supposed to pick favorites. It's like children, but if I had to pick my favorite Aria floor plan, it would be this. We have the opposed seating, an extremely large kitchen. We have the dinette. We have a bath and a half, a king size bed. I'm going to take you through every single inch of this Aria inside and out. And I know right now you're thinking, what, what kind of shot is that, Steve? That doesn't look great. You got this giant wall here. I'm showing you what this Aria looks like with the slides in. Everybody says, hey, Steve, show us what it looks like with the slides in. How much room do you have to move? I am showing you right now. This is it. A lot of living space in here. You can get to where you need to go. If you are on the road, you need to get to the bathroom, you can do that. But wait until you see how much room we have when we open this Aria up. And we're going to do that right now using Rapid Cam Plus right back here on the wall. Now remember, when you're putting your slides out, make sure your jacks are down. All right, your engine needs to be on. You need to pull your brake there. Start the engine, pull the brake, walk back to Rapid Camper, use the remote, and let's get these slide walls out. We're going to start with this one right up over here that you're seeing in the shot. You just hit extend, and out the wall goes. You have three slides on this. You have this slide, and then a full wall slide over here on your campsite, and then you have a bed slide as well for the tilt of view king size bed which we'll show you when we work our way back but as this wall goes out you can see just how much room you have when this opens up starts to reveal this beautiful beautiful interior notice the floor here you have a nice matte finish this is a porcelain floor a hand laid porcelain tile floor very very durable and you do get extra tiles when we go outside and walk around we'll show you where those are stored but we are putting out our driver side slide and you're and, and you're like well that that really opens it up right and and oh, you you have you haven't seen anything yet let's open up the full wall slide over on this side all you have to do over on rapid camp plus is hit the extend button and now our wall slide is going out look at that now wait till you see how much room you have here and once we get all the slides out we are going to talk about rapid camp Plus, your all-in-one control center, you can take and control whatever feature you want from your phone because new this year is Eclipse. Yes, Vega Touch Eclipse. So that means you can use this and control features, every feature inside your Aria from anywhere in the United States, Canada, and Mexico, which is really, really neat. Now we have this slide open. Look how much room we have here. This really opens us up. Now you see why this is my favorite floor plan, just the amount of space you have in here. And we're gonna go ahead and we are going to put out the bed slide. You simply hold down extend and your bed will go out. Now before we go around the outside, I'm gonna close the area up just because it makes it a little easier to see the storage bays when we're doing video. And there's a neat little troubleshooting trick that I wanna talk about. But as this goes out, I want you to take a look at these beautiful interiors. We've got a couple of new colors for 2023. What you see here is Cambria, and that can come with the regatta wood or the Sanibel. So however you want to put it together, this is our studio collection. So just some beautiful woodwork in here, just beautiful colors. Everything just looks fantastic in here. Our designers did a top-notch job. As we take and walk through Rapid Camp, starting on your home screen, a lot of features here. You can control your lights, all of them, on or off with the touch of a button. You can lift up or put down the TV. It's on a televator. We'll show you that. You can look at all of your tank levels. You can turn your water pump on from here. You can monitor your house and your chassis battery. You can take a look at your air conditioning and there's a go power button if you press go power that is going to pull up your solar controller we've improved the solar controller this year as well it's going to be more efficient and it is all integrated into rapid camp plus you can take a look at everything that is happening with that 100 watts of solar up on top and if you would like to add more panels you can do that because it is wired for that. This is a 30 amp solar controller in here, by the way. Next button down looks like the lightning bolt, and this is going to be 
all of your electric right here. So you can take and start your auto gen start from here. Monitor your house battery, your uh, chassis battery. If you want to start your auto gen start, you hit enable and then that is going to bring up a number of different settings for you. What are your triggers? Low volts, HVAC, you can set it for both. How long do you want it to run? How many times do you want it to try? Set a quiet time. Uh, that way your generator won't start and disturb people in the middle of the night if you're at a campground that has a time, a quiet time. The next button down is going to be your thermostat. Right now we have two 15,000 BTU AC units with heat pumps on here. You want that or do you want the 313.5 units? So, Think about what is going to fit your lifestyle and the way you use it, but all your climate is controlled right from here. Next button down controls your slides. We were just there. You can control not only your slides, but you can control your awnings. You do have a front awning. You do have a door awning on this. We go down to the fans. You can control the kitchen fan, the bathroom fan, and the rear bath fan. And then we go into settings. Right here is how you're going to connect Eclipse to your phone. Um, you can go back there, you can change the screen brightness, you can set the clock, and a couple of other features that we have in Rapid Camp Plus right here. So a great system to have, control it right from here. You can use the uh, multiple switch panels that you have throughout the area. You can also use your phone, whether you are sitting down and you don't feel like reaching up to the switch pad or when you are out at camp. Now let's get this tour started because there's so much I love about this. First you have opposing seating. What a great conversation piece, right? So you have a lot of family traveling with you. You have friends that you're traveling with or you meet new friends at the campsite. You have this nice opposing seating. You do have the reclining theater seats here. These are really nice. You just have a seat and you can go ahead and put your feet up just like that. And now you are relaxed and you can watch that TV. You can control that TV. There's a switch on the wall here, lift up and the TV goes up. And now you're sitting back, you're watching TV. Uh, you do have Blu-ray player in here. There's satellite backer on the roof if you'd like to add a dish. And this is even equipped, if you would like to take and, uh, you know what, put in a streaming device, uh, a gaming console, uh, whatever it is you want to do to watch your shows, all you have to do is connect to Wine Guard Connect 2.0 this is a 4G hotspot and a Wi-Fi extender. So this is going to be a great setup because you can get a plan through WineGuard. You can take and you can use your favorite carrier, your current carrier. You just get a SIM card and a data plan. And then you put the SIM card up top and now you have internet no matter where you are on the road. And uh, you can put the TV down a nice large window over here. And what's nice about the windows here, we have the the nice sun shades down here, so these really take and block out a lot of that harsh sunlight. You do have the uh, slow rise roller blinds, so you can take and get privacy when you need. And this will really take and cut down on the amount of uh, sunlight when you are out for the day and it's really hot. Go ahead and shut those and it'll keep your coach cool. You have a sound bar to go along with the TV, so some great entertainment in here. And you have this sofa, 68 inch sofa here, makes into a bed. This is a tri-fold sofa. So you take and you move these cushions just like that. And then you lift up down here and there is going to be uh, feet that come out. That comes down and then you go ahead and you flip. And there's seat belts here too. You flip that down and then you go ahead and then you put your cushions back. And now you have a great sleeping area for Whoever wants to sleep here, right? This is going to be your tri-fold sofa. Also up top, as we're talking about sleeping options, look at this. This is your drop-down overhead bunk. You have a 500 pound weight capacity on this. This ladder is easy to store, so you have great sleeping options up front. We're not done yet. We have more seating, all right? So up front, we talked about a little conversation happening here. You want to be involved, but there's not enough room for you on the sofa. These captain chairs swivel. Look at this. So they swivel. The passenger seat has a footrest that kicks out. So now you have two more seats right up front where you have this whole section for entertaining. A lot of storage here for entertaining. What do you want to bring with you? The size of these cabinets, massive. You can fit whatever you need to fit in here. You have them all down. 
the uh, side over here in the kitchen, you have a couple over the booth dinette, which is exactly where we are headed right now. 74 inch dinette, solid surface. You do have solid surface counters here. You have solid surface counters in the kitchen. This kitchen is an amazing kitchen and it's right across from this dinette. I love the dinette for a lot of reasons. It's it's versatile, right? So you, there are seat belts here. There are seat belts in the theater seats. There are seat belts in the sofa. So you got a great place to sit during the drive. Storage. I know you're thinking, well, what, what, what storage? This storage right underneath here. You do have storage. So we got the sleeping bag and the pillow, which is perfect because this dream dinette makes into a bed. All you do is you take and you flip the handle and then you take and you push this down. And then you move your cushions over and now you have another place to sleep up front in the morning. You just take and throw everything down in the storage, lift that up, lock that back in place. And now you have a place to eat breakfast, right? Beautiful ceiling treatment up here I want to talk about. Nice light, such a nice little mood light. And you'll notice right down the center here we do have our vents and that's how we vent our air conditioners in the Aria and it's really nice especially when you're traveling down the road and you have people sitting here or maybe you have some people sitting here you can run those air conditioners when your generator is running and we'll talk about starting that when we head up front and we take the tour outside so your air dump is going to be right in the center and then your returns are going to be right out here on the side so really a nice way to cool down your Aria. Let's take a look at this kitchen. Love this kitchen. A lot of counter space in here, solid surface countertops, even this one. Look at this. Keeps going and going. So now you have all this extra room for a real nice prep area. You do have covers for your double bowl sink. You have a pull down sprayer here. And the amount of storage in here, these drawers are just huge. Look at this. All the way out here, get all your utensils. You have three of them right here when you don't need this. You push that right back in. Down below here, you have a place for your pots and your pans that locks in. We have the extra sink cover down here. You can go ahead and put that in place right there. Uh, we do have a couple of extra. There's a, you'll get remotes, and then we'll talk about the water filter for your home filtration system. An air hose because you have an air chuck. More storage over here. You have this nice under counter lighting right here. Look at that. Three more drawers down here. Store your pans down here and make sure that you can use those pans on an electric induction cooktop. You have two burners here and for baking and cooking you have a convection microwave. This is a great feature to have. You're not going to heat up your Aria with an oven. You can do all your baking, you can do all your cooking, even all your air frying in the convection microwave nice backsplash up here you have a pop-up outlet so we have the food processor whatever you want to plug into here you do have three 110 outlets so you can take and use that maybe you want to have an electronic cookbook with the tablet you can plug that in there and follow along but a great kitchen setup nice campsite kitchen a window to look out of uh, right there at your campsite so beautiful beautiful kitchen setup in here and we're not done we're not done in this section of the aria yet more storage right up above. A little storage right here. You do have another TV right here. So for somebody sitting here who wants to watch something at dinner, you can go ahead and turn that on. And on a cool morning, how about a little heat from the fireplace? Look at that. You can go ahead and not only does this throw out heat, which it's doing right now, and you can go ahead and adjust the heat with the thermometer button, or you can just take and turn it off. If you just want the flames, you just take and press it all the way till it says off. You can control the flame brightness and you can control the color of the flames as well. So nice, a nice piece there. So you can use this to take the chill out of the air. There are also uh, heat pumps on the two 15,000 BTU air conditioners. As we work our way back, residential fridge and freezer right in here so whatever you need this is a large fridge too so you have all of all of your, your cold goods in here and then in here all of your snacks all of your cereal all of your crackers all of your soups all of your mixes so a nice pull out pantry these do lock into place so as you're traveling down the road just lock that in shut the door 
nothing is going anywhere on you. As we take a look at our first bath, now this is going to be a half bath. This has everything you need. You do have uh, your toilets, you have your sink, you have a lot of counter space in here to get ready. GFCI outlet in here, so if one of the other outlets in your Aria is not working, check that. That may have tripped. You can go ahead and reset that. Uh, towel holders, large medicine cabinets, you have a vent fan up here, so a nice bath midship. This is, this is a great setup in here. The, the master bath, as we're about to see here real soon, is huge, just massive. And the bedroom is massive as well. I mean, there's so much room in here. Now, this is a tilt-a-view king bed. We have the bed in the up position. I think the tilt-a-view bed is a great addition to any motorhome. So you can get it out of the way so you have more walk room if you need to get into the bathroom or if you wanna just sit in bed and kind of recline, you know, instead of taking uh, pillow after pillow after pillow after pillow to find a comfortable position, just take and press the button and get the tilt of your bed into the position that you like. You do have USB charging. You can take, if you have to travel with a CPAP machine, there is an outlet for you up here. You do have storage down below. Over here, wall of storage, I like to call it. This is the wall of storage. You have your closet. You can go ahead and keep as many outfits in here as you need. You have uh, shelves down below for shoes. Maybe you wanna put some blankets in the middle section you can do that. We have a couple of drawers down below here as well. Then over here, you have your Whirlpool stackable washer and dryer. That does come standard on your Aria. And the nice thing about having the stackable washer and dryer is that if you are running your generator when you're running down the road and your water pump is on, because you do need to turn your water pump on when you're not hooked up to city water, we'll talk about that when we get connected outside. You can take and you can do a couple of loads of laundry in between your trips. That way, when you get to your destination, you're not thinking, ah, oh, we can't go out yet. I got to do this laundry. I'm not going to catch up. If you want to do it while you're driving, you can most certainly do that. Just remember when you get hooked up to camp, you're going to want to take and drain your gray tank. And we'll walk through that process here when we get to camp. And as we walk back through the bedroom with more storage, four cabinets above the bed here, the size of this bathroom is huge look at this you have dual vanities up here you have large medicine cabinets you have storage down below you have drawers under each sink then you have a couple of drawers in the middle you do have a porcelain macerator toilet in your master bath and you have this large shower 52 by 30 shower back here and one of the great features about this shower you're going to see this blue disc and you're going to say well, what is what is that blue disc one of the nice things is you know, a lot of times when you're, you're, you're camping and then you come back in and, and you're going to shower and then you sit there and you turn on the hot water and you wait for it and then it runs down and it runs down. And if you are dry camping, right, your gray tank just starts to fill up really, really fast. Doesn't have to happen if you're waiting for a hot shower with the shower miser. That blue disc is your key to saving water and making sure you're getting hot water. So you're going to see a little valve, a little handle on the side. You turn that, you turn on your hot water. Now the hot water is just gonna recycle, but it's not coming out of your shower head. What happens here is you see this disc starts to turn from blue to a whitish blue sort of color. That means you now have hot water flowing to your shower. You crack the valve and now you have hot water and you didn't fill up your gray tank waiting for all of that hot water. Tankless hot water, by the way, the controls are back here. You can set your temperature back here. A few more cabinets in the back. You have places for robes or towels and this large, large linen closet here. You have extra towels, extra soaps. If you would like to take and adjust these shelves or move them out and maybe hang some outfits in here, you can do that as well. So a lot of great storage options in your Aria. And we have to talk about what we find up front because I love getting to places. I love the drive and this Aria drives so smooth. So let's hop in the driver's seat and kind of walk through what we have here. Now we talked about your one touch leveling jacks. That is right here. Again, those do need to be down when you are putting out your slide walls. Do not forget to bring those up after your slide walls are in. In the event you would forget, you'll get a beep and the Aria will get angry 
and they will come up automatically as a safety feature. The other little button you see down here uh, is an auto dump. So as you are getting ready to put out your slides after you park, uh, go ahead and hit lower. That is going to let the air out and drop your Aria two to three inches. And that is going to take and make getting in and out so much easier. And then you go ahead and you throw it to auto when you are back out and ready to hit the road here. Over here, we do have an auxiliary start. So in the event that your chassis battery would die, if you hold that down and you turn the key, you can pull power from your house batteries to jumpstart your chassis battery and you will get going and back on the road. Dash fans, you do have uh, your air horn so you can take and have uh, this horn, wimpy, 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 or the air horn, the highway horn. That way, people will know, hey, there's an RE behind me. I need to get out of the way. Cabin lights, your service light, that is for the bay right outside the window here. We'll show you everything else that's in there. Docking lights, so when you're pulling into camp light, you have heated remote mirrors. These mirrors do have integrated cameras in them. And when you turn your directional on left or right, that'll show up in the infotainment center which is new for this year we'll talk about that cup holder 12 volt charging as we get into our OptiView dash wow this does everything this is really an amazing setup here freightliner gave it a few new colors up here you can customize the menu if you want to see your gauges look at your fuel economy trip meters uh, a number of different vehicle settings you have tire pressure monitoring on this you can go into some diagnostics battery voltage in here your distance to empty everything that you could want to monitor your Aria is right in front of you. The other thumb pad uh, controls your cruise control and controls the phone for the infotainment center. But as you're cruising down the road, you may be thinking, why is this drive so great? What, what is going on here? This is just a smooth ride. A lot of reasons for that. First of all, this is gonna be built on a Freightliner XCR. This is a raised rail chassis. You have an ISBXT 6.7 liter engine. This has 360 horsepower, 800 pound feet of torque, and that is tied in with a six speed Allison MH3000 automatic transmission. So that's what's gonna power you down the road. You have that in block 750 watt engine heater, right? So if you're cold camping, I'll tell you what, your engine's gonna stay nice and toasty. The other thing I really like about driving the Aria, and it's impressive for a coach of this size, handles like a dream. You have that 55 degree wheel cut with that I-beam front axle, so you can really get into some tight spaces there. You can take and you can back into places you thought, there's no way I'm gonna make this, but with that 55 degree wheel cut, you can really get in there. Uh, you have air ride suspension, you have Freightliner's V-Ride technology out back that is really gonna stabilize your ride. You have an exhaust brake to help slow you down. And this is built on the Atlas Foundation, the always true level and strong Atlas Foundation. What happens with the Atlas Foundation is our engineers from Thor get together with the engineers for more ride. And we say, hey, we have an Aria 3901 and we would like this storage and we'd like this. And so we kind of work in tandem with more ride and they build each Atlas Foundation specific for each Aria floor plan. So the 3901 has its own unique Atlas Foundation, which is going to take and one, give us just a, a completely level surface for a solid foundation. You're gonna have more storage, a smoother ride. It's a great, great structure. It's called the Atlas Foundation, and you're gonna get it on the Aria 3901. As we take and walk through the rest of the dash controls here, your HVAC, you can start your generator from here. You have a sunshade and a nightshade. The sunshade will take and block some of those harsh rays. Uh, and the nightshade is at night. You can take and also use it as a, uh, a visor. So when you're driving down the road and the sun's real harsh, you can lower it just a little bit. Safety feature built in so it won't go down all the way and completely wipe out your view. So that's a great little sun visor to have. You can take and you can control uh, your map light and one other little button that you're gonna find over here, and I love this. Press the button, and oh, look what that does. Thor logo projected outside on the ground. We'll show you where that comes out, but what a neat, neat uh, night light when you're away at camp. No missing where you have parked, because sometimes you get into some of those big RV resorts, and you're like, oh my gosh, where did I go? You keep that on, you'll know exactly what motorhome is yours. 
A little storage down below here, a little storage up top, and now we get into our infotainment center. Uh, you have your radio on here, you have Sirius XM satellite radio, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you can pull up the backup camera, yep, backup camera, we'll show that to you, you can pull that up at any time. Uh, Bluetooth phone, you can take and connect your phone to here as well, so you can, and we showed you the steering wheel control so you can make calls right from here so hands free calling the other feature i want to talk about before we head outside on your entry step for the passenger there is a step cover so you press the button and the step cover comes up and now your floor is completely flat uh, and then you can take and put your feet down and you don't have the steps there so what i'm going to do now is we're going to take and we're going to close up our aria so we can head outside and again we're going to do that just so it's easier to show you inside the storage bays and it's easier to give you a complete tour. So to retract your slides in the bed, because it's a tilt of view, it gives you a warning to make sure that the bed is in the up position. Hit yes, it is up, and then you can go ahead and you can bring your bed in. One thing I want to talk about is we bring these slides in is uh, the way that they work, okay? So you do have motors on here and you can hear them working away bringing your slide in and sometimes they do get out of sync a lot of times you know things will roll on the floor or something will will drop where you won't have the seat spun around and then you're going to take and you're going to stop putting that wall in so we'll, we'll, we'll show you what we mean here so we're going to go ahead and we're going to retract our driver's side here now let's start with this one Let's start with this full wall slide and, and I set this up you're like well wait you stop now it happens I'll show you what happens okay and I'll show you how to sync up your motor so let's go ahead and bring this full wall slide in again with this beautiful kitchen here so as the slide comes in and you're listening to the motors there's a way to sync these up and I'll show you as this one comes in here because if they get out of sync, sometimes then your wall will start to uh, start to go out a little wonky. You don't, uh, you do not want a wonky wall, not at all. All right, so that wall is in. So now we're going to pick up where we left off, right? And so the motors are going to be, they're going to be fine. But this is how they get out of sync, is because we stop that, and if you do that enough, uh, eventually one's going to start to overtake. So after this wall goes in neat little trick that is coming up right here oh the other thing i want to mention on this dinette uh, you have two in the back here you now have two child safety tethers so on top of this fabric i love this fabric by the way it's uh, really easy to clean it's soft it's comfortable but two two child safety tethers all right so now our wall is just about in all right so we hit retract so you start on the opposite side which would be extend right so you'd go one two three four five six and then you kind of heard this little rrr, rrr, rrr. that means your motors are synced up and you can do that on all of your slide walls and that will take and help keep those motors in sync uh, i have just gotten into the habit of doing that uh, every time i put in the slide walls that way I never run into any issues and I never have to troubleshoot. But if you do have to troubleshoot, there is a brain essentially for these slide walls and the storage bays down below. So I am going to walk on out here and we are going to take a complete look at our outside of the Aria. You don't want to make this giant step. We talked about the step cover, just how nice this is. You can sit here, put your feet down, but you're going to want to take and put this down so you can get in and out of your coach and again when we showed you the auto uh, or the air dump the steps you can see just how much lower that your aria is to the ground so when you're coming in and out of the motorhome it's just that fast i'm gonna go ahead and turn the aria off here and we are going to take and walk around as we head outside notice this yellow label on the door a lot of important information on here this is your occupant and cargo carrying capacity. Look at this, 5,922 pounds. We talked about the length of this, 39 feet, 11 inches being under 40 feet now. Uh, here's the cameras in the mirrors. We talked about those showing up in your infotainment center when you are out on the road and you turn your directionals on. Uh, power mirrors, heated mirrors, uh, you do have to take and 
dial in the uh, bottom part, it's always great to have uh, your co-pilot with you take and push that around for you until you get it exactly where you want to go. You do have grab handles here. That light that we talked about, there you go. That is where it's going to project on the ground, so almost right in front of your step. Oh, it is so cool. Dual fuel fills above the belt line here, so you have two places to fill your gas. So you can pull in to either side. As we work our way back, notice you do have these nice frameless windows. Those take and those are hinged at the top and they open inside so they open out so you get that nice ventilation. And if it's raining and you still want ventilation, two awnings. Look at this, we have an awning above the door. We have an awning over here on the campsite and you can control those with Rapid Camp Plus. Now, as we're showing you a lot of the exterior features, cause we're going to take and show you some of the colors because we have all new exterior colors for your Aria. They're not all gonna be the 3901 and we had to get our hands on some of these colors in order to show you the Aria. So uh, as we're getting ready to put out our awning, well, let's go with our front awning. And again, we talked about the beauty of Rapid Camp Plus. You just hit the extend button and out it comes. And then you can go ahead and you can take and you can put out your side awning over the campsite, set up chairs. It's a beautiful setup. And let's talk about these beautiful paints. This one is called Salt Rock, but maybe you want a little more pop. Broad Street, this is nice red pop to it. And if you like blues, this is Costera. There are four paints. We have three of them to show you. You can find all of them on ThorMotorCoach.com. As we work our way down, one thing I love about the Aria, the amount of storage on here is unbelievable. Look at the size of these bays, this nice white pebble board. Uh, there's actually no organic material in here. This is, uh, is going to be Asdale, this is going to be fiberglass, there's some insulation in here as well, and then uh, we put that all together for you. It is durable, it's not going to mold, it's not going to mildew, you can clean it out. Each bay has its own light that you can control from Rapid Camp Plus, and there's so much storage on this Aria. You even have a slide out tray. How much storage, you ask? 215 cubic feet of storage. This tray will slide out the other way, so easy loading. We talked about the uh, porcelain tile and how it came with some extra planks. Right now those are stored here. So in the event you would need those, you do get those with your Aria. And we can go ahead and push that tray back in. We'll open it from the other side just to show you when we work our way around there. Another large pass-through bay so you can fit all kinds of belongings in here. Aria is a great full-timer RV as well as long trips. You're going to be gone all summer. Take the family, pack everything you need down below in here. So with all this room, what are you going to pack in these bays? Here's some travel suggestions. Maybe you put a couple of camping chairs in here and a portable grill because you do have an exterior propane connection right here. You can take and connect a portable grill to that and go ahead and do some outdoor barbecue. Remember, you got a regulated connection here. So if you are not getting the flow you like at your grill or your fire pit or whatever you hook up, go ahead and take and remove the regulator from that device. You also have a GFCI outlet down here. So you can go ahead and plug in whatever it is you need. Make sure though that uh, you do have power from your generator before you go ahead and plug anything in, otherwise you'll be like, why, are, why am I not blending these drinks? You gotta have power to your coach and we'll plug in and we'll get you some power here. TV, right, so you're grilling. You got your chair set up, you're watching TV, you got a Bluetooth soundbar, maybe you don't wanna watch TV, maybe you wanna listen to music, you can do whatever, it's on a swivel, it's protected from the elements, protected from harsh sun, so great outdoor entertainment, great for tailgates, how about that? Maybe a, Aria is the perfect tailgate machine. Right in here, you do have plumbing. This is going to be for the ice maker for the fridge that we showed you. As we work our way down, do have fresh water. You can fill your water here or the other side. We'll talk about all of our tank capacities when we get over to the other side, but simple, easy to fill. If uh, this is the side that you pull into at the RV resort that you're at, and this is the only side they have the water fill, well, you can do that from here. Tires, you got tire pressure monitoring. We talked a little bit about that as we looked at our dash. A couple of batteries stored here. 
And over here we do have, we have a lot happening over here. 2000 watt inverter, 100 amp charger. You can turn that on uh, through Rapid Camp Plus. That is going to be here. We talked about your solar controller. This is your 30 amp solar controller. And over here we talked uh, a lot about your Rapid Camp Plus. These are resettable fuses right down here and you can see it kind of breaks it all down for you what they are, whether it's from the macerator or uh, gosh, whatever it is, your solar panel, there are all the fuses there. And this is going to be a chassis battery disconnect. So you wanna completely disconnect your chassis batteries that we just showed you, you're gonna do that there. Uh, great for storage, just remember when you are done to go ahead and turn that back on Otherwise, you're gonna. That's happened to. That's happened to the best of us, right? You forget and you realize. Oh yeah, chassis battery disconnect. Little bay right here. I just do power steering fill, right back here for your Aria. As we walk around back, ladder to get up on the roof and do some roof maintenance up there. Uh, we showed you the switches for your docking lights. Your docking lights are right up there. In between your docking lights is the rear view camera we talked about at the infotainment center. Right back here, you do have a couple of different. Uh, couple of different maintenance items i guess to check uh, air filter right here engine oil freightliner diagnostic port right over here uh, transmission fluid fill your engine oil you have some coolant right there so real easy to maintain your air boxes over on the other side we'll show you ten thousand pound hitch on your aria you do have a seven pin connector so ten thousand pounds you can tow whatever you want remember it is GCWR minus GBW. As we walk around, there's your, your air box back here. A couple of things happening. We have uh, your RV power transfer switch, which nice about this is uh, this has a surge protector on there. So in the event that there'd be a surge uh, at the campground or the RV resort you're staying at during a storm or whatever, this is going to protect the electrical system in your Aria. We do have another plumbing access, tankless hot water right here. That is just a, that is just the port for that. As we work our way through our diesel exhaust fluid, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on that. There's a gauge here and you can monitor that on your OptiView dash as well. Right over here, our whole home filtration system. This is where all the plumbing action takes place. You can turn your water pump on here or through Rapid Camp Plus couple of low point drains. You do have your exterior shower. We showed you the water filter. This is where you're going to change that. You can flush your tanks, uh, your uh, drain outlet, and whatever you want to do here, whether you're hooking up uh, your sewer tank, you can just right through here, the swivels, and then you'll take and you'll easily connect. Uh, you'll just connect this through here, and then you're going to pull your black handle and your gray handle and make sure that your tanks are empty. And again, you can check the tank levels on Rapid Camp Plus, but whatever you want to do, whether it's filling the tank or you want to winterize your dry camping or you want to sanitize your fresh tank, all of that happens right down here. Uh, our capacities, by the way, we have 91 gallons of fresh and our black tank and gray tank are 51 gallons. Exhaust for our furnace. And as we work our way down, this is gonna be storage. So we have, we have storage over on this side. We have storage over on this side. We have more storage over here. We talked about the tray. That slides out on here for easy loading from either side. And the one thing that uh, I, I didn't want to say I skipped over, we talked about plugging in. We showed you uh, the transfer switch and the surge guard and our 50 amp cord. Now, if you noticed on Rapid Camp Plus, it said 30 amps. That's because right now we have where we're at, we only have 30 amp service, right? So you can use a connector to go from 50 down to 30 and run all your systems off of your 30 amp. Now it's not going to give you as much power as the 50, but you can do it. So it's always good to have one of these little adapters with you. As we work our way down, I do have a, another fuel fill for you right here. So again, either side. And then in this bay, we do have the, I guess the guts. We do have the guts for our hydraulic leveling system. We do have the hood release in here. So we'll go ahead and pull that and open our hood. We do have our washer fluid right here. Another uh, camera in the mirror. Beautiful front cap, nice and large. All you do once you pull that, you pull this over and then you lift this right up. 
And this is going to be your generator right here. Don't forget you do have maintenance on your generator. This is an 8,000 watt generator. And you do have, we showed you the air chuck. So this is your air chuck right here when you wanna fill something up with air. And there are those powerful air horns that I just love to, uh, I just like people to know I'm in an Aria. Oh, this lights up too, which is really cool. So we got a couple of really cool lights on you. This is, this is the Aria 3901. As I said before, you're not supposed to pick favorites, but I did. The Aria 3901. Maybe it's your favorite Aria as well. Why don't you explore the entire lineup at ThorMotorCoach.com. I appreciate you joining us on the tour. I'm Steve Duval, and we will see you next time. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800-335-6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?